you see a record light and I hope we're recording. Hi boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Butch. Uh, my name is Terry David Silvercloud, I go by Butch. Today is the 13th of December 2016. Yeah, I'm out of breath. I don't know why. There, I gotta crack my neck. It's a cold sunny day here in Vancouver and uh, I'm 72 years old. What else can I tell you? Um, at heart I'm a theoretical physicist. I spent my working life mainly in photographic retail and eventually working as a photographer and also a very high-end assistant doing uh, magazine kind of photography, fashion, booze, food, cars, industrial, corporate, that kind of stuff, annual reports. So, I have struggled for a long time with social issues I have with people. I'm kind of a recluse. And uh, since watching Big Bang Theory on TV, which I did out of boredom, and now I kind of enjoy it because it promotes science, uh, people would say I'm a Sheldon, so I had to find out who this Sheldon guy was. <laughs> So Sheldon has taught me a lot about myself. I'm not a Sheldon, but uh, I've learned a lot about myself. And, and now I'm, because of some problems I've had with the very few people I am close to, uh, I am beginning to understand me and my issues and why I have issues with a lot of human beings. And what I've discovered is it's grammar good grammar. I was fortunate enough to be in my grandmother's care a lot when I was very young and uh, she always corrected my grammar. She'd been a school teacher. So up till around age seven when we moved away from them I had constantly been hearing pretty good grammar. I didn't much like school so I uh, didn't pay a lot of attention to grammar in school but uh, I knew it was important and mine is pretty decent. My weakness is spelling because I have a, an issue that's sort of like dyslexia but it's not and also I didn't much study in school and uh, I just came from a not a very good cultural background, dyslexic kind of family. So I re realized lately that the problem always, not always, the problem, I should have rehearsed this shouldn't I? <laughs> The problem, I, and I decided to make a video just a while ago, the problem, because I was reading out of my own book, comes down to a thing called fallacy of ambiguity. Now I'm willing to bet right off the bat, right now, that most of you who are watching this right now have no idea what fallacy even means. So I'm going to just reach over here for my, uh, oh by the way, well, I'll get back to that. I have a dictionary here, it's a pretty good one. So fallacy, noun fallacies. One, originally, or, or, deception, aptness to mis mislead, deceive, or delusive quality. It's it really, it would be better said as a deception of ambiguity. And what does that mean? Well, we'll get into that. I, I'm going to read something here. This is from my book, The Shape of God. I wrote a book. Yeah, I wrote a book, The Shape of God. And you can, uh, I'll leave a link in the uh, description below. And you can find it at theshapeofgod.com right now. And you can also find it at the dash shape dash of dash god dot tumblr dot com. You'll find it there too. You can read it there. Anyhow, this is from an article by Dave Pressler in 2002 and it's an extraction from his article, The Greatest Mathematical Error. Fallacy of ambiguity occurs when a word or phrase is used with one meaning in one premise and with another meaning in another premise or in conclusion. Logical errors are very common in everyday discussions. Now he goes on to talk about the space mumbo jumbo that uh, physicists like me, uh, you know, would understand. But you don't need to 
know. So let's talk about that a fallacy of ambiguity. And I wrote a quick one down somewhere, if I can remember what it was. Oh, here's a good one. The word only. That's a simple word, right? We use it all the time. Only me. You only. We use it all the time. But when you use the word, or many similar words, usually they're adjectives, in front of or behind a verb, from a guy like me and Sheldon who think like robots, we have to follow the logical paths and if we don't know that you don't know that you don't know what that means and we get that you're just an idiot and you didn't really understand what you're saying if you place only in front of a verb it actually has one meaning and if you place only after the verb it has another meaning the meaning may be very small or it may not even be worth thinking about but you think about that word only and you just think of a few sentences and just put if I say I love only you and then I say I only love you it's sort of the same thing to most people uh, but it's not see now I'm going to run out of time you think about that there's a difference in meaning and I've heard physicists, and I'm a physicist, who have degrees and they'll start going on about things relating to Big Bang or to uh, quantum physics and I know, because I believe I understand these things, they don't know what they're talking about. And they do know what they're talking about, but it's because they either had a fallacy of ambiguity when they were studying they didn't have good enough grammar skills to quite get what was really supposed to happen and they passed their error on their particular take on something they pass it on that's a fallacy of ambiguity and the world is just full of it now it's why I've quit Facebook Facebook is becoming a cesspool of uh, fallacy of ambiguity there is so much bad information out there now, you have to be really well educated and very intelligent to sort out what's real. Putin and even, what's his name, Trump, they're using the spreading of so much misinformation that people who aren't well informed and very smart they no longer are able to tell what's what and they just see what they want to see uh, so Putin and Trump are using the same thing where they start all kinds of rumors that you you don't know what's true anymore because there's just so many rumors going on out there if you don't really trust your source you're in trouble now I have a feeling this thing's going to go on to a clip too if I'm not careful because the camera automatically starts another clip when it, the file gets too big and really I just want to point out for no reason at all that a lot of arguments and a lot of misinformation in the world is going on simply because of poor grammar skills I see newscasters every day using poor grammar they've gone to journalism school you'd think they would know good grammar the people who are the best at grammar are lawyers and judges because they make their entire living on knowing what means what. And if there's a dot out of place or a comma out of place, or there's two ways in which something might be interpreted, a good lawyer to defend their client might use a fallacy of ambiguity knowing that the jury isn't really smart enough to pick up on this. And they say one thing that if you weren't really smart it might be taken another way and that's simply by uh, a bad idea being spread on and by bad grammar like people not knowing uh, for instance one thing that really bugs me and it's, it's become so common now it's an accepted it, it, it's okay to do this there is a difference between because of and due to everybody says due to 
and almost 90% of the time, maybe 99% of the time, that's what I'm going to say, they would say something like, uh, this, the elevator is not working due to icy conditions. That is incorrect grammar. It's because of. And I'm not even going to get into explaining why that is. Um, so I just wanted to bring up this idea of fallacy of ambiguity and God only knows why I, I didn't really have a conclusion to reach here except that I think a lot of misunderstandings between people are, are because of people who have poor educations uh, in grammar uh, not really understanding what they're saying sometimes. They say things and they are saying not what they really mean to say. They think they're saying it, and amongst poorly educated people, maybe it goes over well, but when you get amongst highly educated people, they will quickly sort out the riffraff, and if they're really polite, they'll never let you know, but they know you're an idiot. You said something, or you said things, or you, you used grammar, in such a way they say, oh, they didn't go to school. <laughs> if they don't know that, <laughs> well, they're missing a, a few loads. Okay, I think I'll probably run over, maybe I'll try this again if I ran over my time limit. Think about the words fallacy of ambiguity and uh, critical thinking. That's one you might want to look up. This is Butch, bye-bye for today. I gotta switch this off now. I gotta go around to the back of the camera to do this. There we are, there's the button. Still recording. Bye for much.